this week's Beyond Clean Expert Series episode entitled, Did Superbugs Disappear? was written by EO sterilization expert Ted May, President and CEO at Anderson Products Division. Superbugs dominated industry headlines from 2015 onward. But over the past year and a half, COVID-19 has overshadowed the infectious disease news. Did superbugs disappear? Superbugs are strains of bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi that are resistant to most antibiotics and other medications commonly used to treat the infections they cause. These classes of antibiotics include carbapenems, which are last resort antibiotics used to treat many types of serious infections caused by multidrug resistant bacteria. Carbapenem resistant Enterobacteriaceae, or CRE, are a particularly pernicious family of gram negative bacteria resistant to these antibiotics. CRE and related superbugs have become a global public health scourge. The mortality rates for patients infected with CRE and certain other superbugs can be as high as 50% or higher in some patient subgroups. In February 2015, FDA acknowledged for the first time that reprocessed duodenoscopes could remain persistently contaminated with life-threatening superbugs. Earlier this year, FDA acknowledged other types of flexible endoscopes, particularly bronchoscopes and urological endoscopes, may pose a risk of infecting patients with superbugs and related multidrug-resistant organisms, or MDROs. Indeed, according to the CDC, more healthcare-associated outbreaks have been linked to flexible endoscopes than to any other type of medical device. Ratcheting up the stakes, a report published in 2019 linked a duodenoscope to the possible transmission of a superbug carrying the MCR1 gene, which can confer colistin antibiotic resistance to the microorganism. Like carbapenems, colistin may be used as a last line of defense for treating some types of multidrug-resistant infections. Notably, some colistin-resistant infections may be untreatable. The FDA has repeatedly, most recently in June, recommended ethylene oxide or EO gas sterilization over high-level disinfection for reprocessing these endoscopes because of its greater safety margin. Numerous studies have documented that EO sterilization of endoscopes during infectious outbreaks has been associated with terminating these outbreaks. Superbug infections associated with reprocessed endoscopes have certainly not disappeared. They remain a concern, warranting attention and enhanced measures to mitigate risk. Implementation of EO sterilization is an effective tool for terminating endoscope-associated CRE and MDRO outbreaks. A modern EO gas sterilizer has earned its place in a well-equipped SPD. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Beyond Clean Expert Series. For more ethylene oxide sterilization questions and answers, you can contact Ted at ted.may at sterility.com.